In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch in a Makita 5277B circular saw. There are a number of signs that your circular saw has a bad switch. The most obvious of which would be when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. The saw just doesn't turn on. Another sign of a bad switch would be a saw that sometimes turns on when you pull the trigger and other times doesn't. That would be an intermittently bad switch. Also, some circular saws have electric brakes in the motor. If your saw has a brake, but it's no longer working, very likely that's going to be caused by the switch as well. Fortunately, replacing the switch is an easy thing to do. We're going to show you how to do that now. We'll get started by removing the side cover on the handle to get access to the switch wires. With the screws out of the way, now I can go ahead and pull the side cover off the handle. Now we have access to the switch, we can go ahead and remove the wires on the switch. Before I take the wires off, I want to make note of the location of each wire so I can put them in the same place when I put the new switch in. Now we can go ahead and begin installing our new switch. You'll notice that the new switch looks a little bit different than the old switch. Whenever this happens, I like to make sure that the wiring through the switch is the same on the new one as it is on the old one. We'll use a multimeter to do that. Here I have my multimeter set up to test for resistance, or ohms. Most multimeters will have a setting where the multimeter will give an audible tone when you have continuity through a circuit. And that's where I have my meter set. This is the old switch. And I know from the way it was hooked up before that current passed through the switch from one end to the other. I can verify that by putting the leads from the multimeter onto the connections on either end of the switch and then pulling the trigger. When I pull the trigger, I should get a tone from the multimeter. Here I have the new switch and I can test the continuity through the new switch the same way. I'll take one of the leads from my multimeter and touch it to the tab on one end of the switch and the other lead on the other end of the switch. And again, I'll pull the trigger. We got the tone, so we know that the current flows through the switch the same direction. Just to be safe, I can always attach the leads to the same end of the switch and again, pull the trigger. I don't get any tone here because we know the current is flowing from one end of the switch to the other. Now that we know which direction the current flows through the switch, we can go ahead and connect the wires back to the switch. With the wires reinstalled, I can go ahead and install the switch back into the handle and then make sure I have all of the wires out of the way so when we attach the other side of the handle, they won't get crushed. Now I'll snap the handle side back in place and replace the screws. 